Welcome to Catholic Culture Audiobooks, a production of CatholicCulture.org and under the patronage of St. John Henry Newman. Today's reading, St. John Henry Newman's Sermon Notes on the Name of Jesus, January 19th, 1851. Narrated by James T. Majewski. It has been from the beginning the order of providence, nay, even verbum, not to create without giving a name. As grace is necessary to keep things together lest they dissipate, so a name is, as it were, the crown of the work, as giving it a meaning and description, and, as it were, registering it before him. Henceforth it lives in his sight, as being in his catalogue. Thus day and night, earth and seas. Hence Adam named his wife and the beasts, etc. Hence Abraham's name changed. Jacob's, Sarah's, Isaac's. Isaac's given, Jacob's changed. St. John Baptist, St. Peter and St. Paul. These names are descriptive. Hence anxiety of men to know God's name. They are born in ignorance. They have a sense there is a God, But what is he? The heavens and earth do not condense and concentrate his manifold attributes, etc. They give hints, glimpses, snatches. But what is he? Hence he is the unknown God, and men are but feeling after him by what they see. They are in God. He surrounds them. But they want to gaze on him objectively. Thus Jacob about the angel, What is thy name? And to Manoah, Why askest thou my name, which is Mirabile? Moses Boulder, God had been called God of Abraham, etc. Adonai. Hence you see a meaning why the Eternal Son would reveal this, that the name of that Son was of consequence. It was a manifestation of the nature and attributes of God. Admirabilis, for a child is born to us, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, God the Mighty, the Father of the world to come, the Prince of Peace. Emmanuel, for behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Still, however, the name was not told. At length Gabriel said it, Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shalt bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Angel to Joseph, She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Circumcision, His name was called Jesus. And hence the devils, Jesus, the Son of God, I know thee who thou art on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The first miracle of St. Peter and St. John in Acts, in the name, this name, no other name, and St. Paul in Philippians 2, 8-11, he humbled himself, becoming obedient unto death, even to the death of the cross, for which cause God also hath exalted him, and hath given him a name which is above all names that in the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those that are in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that the Lord Jesus Christ is in the glory of God the Father. The two great apostles, the angels from Gabriel, devils from the possessed, and men from the circumcision. For in this, the whole history of salvation, the whole creed, how God would save men, how he loved them, etc., recounting the Christian doctrine. Thus when we would know who God is, we answer, Jesus. We see God in the clouds, in the mountains, etc., and who is he? Jesus. Who then rules? Who is looking, the ruler of bad men? Who is looking, the guardian of the virtuous? Who? 
and we answer, Jesus. He is the one word containing in itself all power, etc., because in it we thereby have in our minds the full description of Almighty God, and in it an answer to all objections and difficulties. It surpasses all. This is the point of the sermon. Whatever difficulties, whatever mysteries in religion, this comprehends and protects them. What is more wonderful than that God should become man? Real presence, power of Mary, purgatory, eternal punishment, intercession of saints, election, original sin, the whole Catholic system bound up in it. Hence, and since Protestants have the name of Jesus on their lips, it is the test whether or not they understand it. In other words, they're taking Catholic doctrine or not. If they don't, if they stumble at it, they don't understand Jesus. On invincible ignorance as alone hindering Catholicism. Let us then rejoice in the fullness of this name. Let us use it as the name of virtue against devils, bad thoughts, evil men, the world, dangers and frights. It is our banner. This has been St. John Henry Newman's Sermon Notes on the Name of Jesus, January 19th, 1851. Narrated by James T. Majewski. Production copyright 2020 by Trinity Communications. This podcast is brought to you by catholicculture.org and made possible by listener support. To donate, please visit catholicculture.org slash donate slash audio. That's catholicculture.org slash donate slash audio.